Canada is too small and the world is too big for us to operate in little silos all over the country. So really like-minded groups trying to do the same things came together to create one national organization with a very clear vision of Canadian life sciences leading the world. What we think the vision of the future is being able to take the most promising innovations out of Canadian academia and in small and medium-sized enterprises and really to help them grow on a, not only a Canadian scale, but on a global scale. When you talk to anybody around the world, they recognize the extraordinary research infrastructure that exists in Canada, and in particular, in British Columbia. So we know that our science is tremendous in Canada. We know our researchers are tremendous. We know that there is a lot of potential and promise in the therapies here. In order to improve things, we need to have organizations like us out there really to helping to gel and put all of those pieces together so that the innovation ecosystem has the support it needs to move towards commercialization in Canada and beyond. Everything we do is about collaboration and partnership, whether it's with our uh, academic collaborators, a principal investigator and their team who has a new discovery, or a venture capital partner who wants to invest in compelling uh, inventions in Canada, or all of the various members in between. Those partnerships are critically important. It's really about bringing together the right people at the right time. And this is where part of being a pan-Canadian organization with being in Quebec, being in Vancouver, having a presence in Toronto, the goal is to say, we know the people that you can talk to. We have the expertise. Let's make this happen together. For example, one of our most important initiatives is the Executive Institute, which we are incredibly fortunate to have tremendous support from Pfizer Canada. I think Pfizer recognizes the importance of growing that next generation of leaders in Canada. We're heading into our third year on that program now, and it's been a great success. There's only one thing we need to do to build the innovation economy even more strongly than we have over the last few years. And that is never limit our aspiration. We have extraordinary research in this community and in this ecosystem. We have extraordinary people. You put those two things together and we can absolutely lead the world. So let's not limit our aspiration. Let's decide that we're gonna take advantage of the extraordinary foundation we have and truly see Canadian life sciences leading the world. Thank you.